All right, so tonight's lesson is lesson 46, and we are doing word problems about a fraction of a group. And so we've kind of talked about this a little bit whenever you have problems um, with percents and they tell you to draw a circle and divide them into thirds and, you know, how many percent or you, what percent is in each part of the circle. So this is kind of the same thing, um, and we're just going to draw our diagrams with rectangles instead. Okay, so I'm looking at my first problem, and it says... This morning, two-fifths of Miss B's, or Miss Brown's, 30 students rode the bus to school. How many students rode the bus? Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of draw this rectangle. I'm going to go down, okay? And this rectangle is going to represent my 30 students. So I'm going to go ahead and write 30 students up here. And um, the denominator here, 5, tells us how many parts we're splitting it into. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and divide my uh, rectangle by 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So remember, your denominator tells you how many pieces it's out of, and your numerator tells you how many pieces you want. Okay, so I'm going to take 30 students, and I'm going to divide them evenly into 5 groups. And when you do that, you should quickly get 6. Okay, so I know that in each of my small rectangles, I have 6. This would be 6 students. This would be 6, and 6, and 6, and 6. And then if you wanted to check it, 6 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 30. So this represents all of my students. When we break them up into groups of 5, we have 6 in each. And then I'm going to go back to my question, and it says this morning, 2 fifths of the 30 students rode the bus. How many students rode the bus? So I'm going to take one and I'm going to take two of my of my sections. So I have six plus six. When I add those two sections together, I get 12. So my answer, okay, would be 12 students rode the bus. So 12 students. Now if it were to say how many students did not ride the bus, you know, I could take six plus six plus six and get 18 over here um, if the question was asking the other way. All right, and we're going to try the next one. And it says, Nick scored two-thirds of his team's 36 points. How many points did he score? Okay, so kind of like we did before, let's make a rectangle. Kind of like this. All right, I'm going to write up here 36 just so I remember what I'm out of. And I'm going to, again, look at my denominator. It's a three, so we're out of three sections, okay? Now I'm going to go over here to my side. I'm going to take 36, and I'm going to divide it by three, because I have my 36 divided by three. Three goes into three once. One times three minus zero. Bring down your six. Goes in twice. Six, zero. Okay, so 12. So 12 points here, 12 points here, 12 points here. And then the question, it says, how many points did he score? Well, if we look at the top, how many sections of our 12 do we want? We want two. So I'm going to take a 12. I'm going to take a 12. I'm going to add them together. When I add them together, I get 24 points. So he scored 24 points, two-thirds of 36. Now, when you have problems like this, sometimes it is good if you really need to see it, if you're more visual, to make a chart like this. It doesn't take very long to make it. Um, okay, so let's do the last one. Eva's dog ate one-fourth of a dozen dog bones. How many dog bones were left? Okay, so um, right here, a dozen. I'm going to write 12 for you just so you, you kind of remember here. Okay, so... Um, my denominator, 4, tells us that we are out of 4. So I'm going to draw my rectangle again. Okay, and how many dog bones? 12. How many sections am I making in my rectangle? 4. It's out of 4, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to come over here, and I need to know how many are in each section. So I take 12, and I divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, a quick division problem that you should know in your head. And I will get 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So I have 3 bones, 3 bones, 3 bones, and 3 bones. 
And it says Eva's dog ate one fourth of the dog bones. How many were left? Well, this is one fourth, and this is one fourth, this is one fourth, and this is one fourth. And how many did he eat? He ate one. So I'm just going to kind of cross that out. He ate one fourth of that. That's gone. How many bones are left? Three, six, nine. Nine bones. Again, I like to see problems like this kind of drawn out and be able to cross it out and, and have my numbers all in front of me. So if you like this, it doesn't take very long to make a diagram to help you with your homework. All right, and here is your lesson practice. Now, I wrote you kind of a note. Yes, you must write the problem down. So write this problem down, and I want you to do a diagram like we did for the other problems. So I want you, I know some of you might just know the answer right away, but I really want you to draw the diagram and practice using it. So it says, Susan practiced her trumpet for three quarters of an hour. How many minutes did Susan practice? Draw a diagram. Um, and explain. You don't have to explain, but draw a diagram and give me your answer. Um, three quarters, remember you're going to divide that into fourths, and then you want three pieces.